Well, I'm trying to use your mi Dios, hablar, a celebrar el cumpleaños, Padre, acá con Stephanie, mi Dios, de verdad, quiero que bendiga su vida, mi Dios, en, en su noviazgo, mi Dios, en su familia, en su trabajo, mi Dios, en sus planes, Padre, que ella tiene en su futuro, mi Dios, esté siempre con ella, mi Dios, y bendiga siempre, Padre, su vida, mi Dios. Ah. Padre, te quiero orar por Zoe, mi Dios, que va a Nicaragua pronto, Padre, mi Dios, Padre, porque tú la hagas brillar a ella ya, gracias porque ella, mi Dios, ha, ha tomado la decisión de hacer algo para hacer un cambio en, en este mundo, mi Dios. De eso vamos a hablar hoy, mi Dios. Te oro, Padre, que me use. Padre, y que sea tu espíritu que esté acá. Abre los corazones en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amen. 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 So last week, we talked about, we talked about uh, Jesus being uh, the source of both physical and spiritual life. Uh, we learned that You know, when we have Jesus in us, you know, we will reflect what Jesus did, you know? I know. And, and, and basically, the, the question last week was, is it in you? You guys remember that one? No. Is it in you? It was like, um, kind of like a phrase from our getaway. So, is it in you? You know, is Jesus in you? You know, and when Jesus is in you, you will act like Jesus, you know? Let me ask you guys a question. Like, what is acting like Jesus? Anyone? Yeah, go ahead. Be humble. Be humble, okay? Anyone? Anyone else? Being kind, okay? What do you need? Being forgiving, yeah? String being it. wise, yeah. That, that's basically being like String. Jesus. So when we are so full of Jesus, then that's how we gotta be reflecting to the rest of the people. You know? Uh, what about if you're not a disciple? Well, I want to invite you guys. If you're not a disciple, if you don't have Jesus in you, I want to invite you to learn more about Jesus. To go ahead and study the Bible. I know a lot of people here are studying the Bible. You know, and that's great. You're making steps to know more about Jesus and to really want to follow Jesus. So along that way, you will find out uh, what's God's plan for you and for your salvation. You know, it's interesting because uh, this is my, my, my topic today. It is your turn. You know, when, 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 when you have it in you, Now it's your turn. It's your turn to step up and light up this world. This world needs you. This world needs to be light up, you know? And basically, uh, John 14, 12 says, I'll tell you the truth. Who said this? Jesus. Who said this? Jesus. Jesus. He said, I'll tell you the, the truth. Anyone who believes in me will do the same work. Whoa, hold on, the same work as Jesus? Who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? God, Jesus was someone, you know, great and powerful. He said, you will do the same work? And not only that, what comes next? What? Even greater works. So guess what? God wants to use you to be a light to this world. This world is so dark that God needs you guys. Really, God needs us. 
And he's saying, you know what? You will do what Jesus did, but you probably will do even bigger than what Jesus did. That right there caught my attention. That right there really inspired me to think like, whoa, I could do greater things than what Jesus did. And I think like, I'm better than Jesus. Just saying like, wow, that inspired me to say, no, I could do good things for God. So, it is your turn. It is your turn. There's no excuse. God, God said that we could do greater things than he did. So, you know what? It is your turn. It is your turn to step up and light up this world. Because this world needs you to light up. So basically, step up and make a difference in this world. Change this world. So, do we want to be world changers? Do you want to be a world changer? Yes. Yes? Do you want to change the world? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Of course yes. You know? So, what do you want to do? What, what do you want to do? What is one thing you want to do to change this world? One thing that you're like, man, I always want to do, do this. I don't know, but to change the world, there's one thing I always have in my mind that I want to do. Like, what is that one thing? What is that thing that you want to do to change the world? Wow, I don't see in your head. I don't see in your head because you... you Ajá. Yo quisiera que no hubiera racismo. Que no hubiera racismo. Pero, pero, ¿cómo usted lo cambiaría? ¿Yo? Ajá. Sí, creo que hacer un plan. <risa> Primero haciendo como Dios. Ajá. Siendo como Él. Creo que cambiando yo misma, dejando de juzgar. Mm, okay. Dejando con mi mente de juzgar. Cuando uno ve una persona, de pronto uno piensa cosas malas de esa persona sin ni siquiera conocerla. Creo que empiezo ahí con racismo yo misma, ¿no? Ok. O, eh, estoy trabajando en mi mente. Okay. Okay. Um, make education accessible to everyone. I, I can't hear you. Make, make education, education accessible to everyone. Make education accessible to everyone. Yeah, definitely, definitely. What's it? Make the earth clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it. I don't think you said it. I 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 said it. Feed the hungry, yes. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. There's a lot of people who are, are dying of hunger. What about you, Brian? What you got for me? Muscle strong, baby. Poverty. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and poverty? Okay. Being the next president of the USA. Oh, oh baby. Being the next president of the USA. Hey. What? That's a dream. Oh, that's a dream. Hey. People have dreams. Anybody want else? Yeah. Guys, if there's something in your head, you know, talk about it. See, there's this guy, Ryan, bro, bro, Jack, hello, Jack, something like that, Jack. Ryan. How do you say it? Peter, that's right. What is it? I don't know. Bro, Jack, bro, Jack, hello, Jack. Okay. So, this guy right here, guys, this guy right here, uh, at the age of six, you guys should read along with me. At the age of six, by the way, who likes reading? Oh, no one likes reading. Come on, Sony. Come on, Sony. Yeah, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come
So basically, <laughs> I just want to talk that out there. We, we gotta watch a video. Wow, yeah, live. That's what it means. So it means live. Wow, yeah. You guys ever do that, right? Let it breathe. So guys, basically, we gotta watch a video about the the, the kid. But basically, the, the, that kid at that age, guys, listen, at six year, at six year. Oh. He made a decision to change the world. At the age of six. <laughs> hey, they're gonna, they're gonna see me in the camera. Well, I'm done already. <laughs> no, hey, come on, man. I'm glad you don't realize that. Come on, man. So, basically, at the age of six, at the age of six, he made a difference. You know? Imagine that, six year old? Wanting to change the world. He decided to step up and be the light to the world, guys. Let's step up, let's be the light mm -hmm. to the world. Let's watch this video. <coughs> <coughs> The hardest thing you can do is to take that very first step. And we all have something that motivates us or confuses us about the world we live in. Why does something have to be this way? Why is this that way in our communities or in the larger world? And I think today we have the opportunity to say, this is what you can do. And even if it's in a really small way, locally or something bigger, that you take that first step. What's important is that when I was a kid, there wasn't anything too special about me, but through the years, other kids have realized that you don't have to be something special. You can be ordinary and make a profound difference. Yeah. 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 It all started when I was really in grade one. And my grade one teacher was talking about people who didn't have toys, Nintendo, or even clean water. And she explained that people were dying because they didn't have clean water. And that just gave me a bad feeling inside. Times, particularly the girls, young girls, will have to spend their days just getting water for their families. If they didn't, their families wouldn't have any water for the day. Thankfully for me, I'm still as naive and stubborn as I was when I was six. It gets a little bit harder when you realize how vast some of the problems are in this world, and things are complicated sometimes, and there's a lot of different problems that surround even clean water, but sometimes you just focus on what you can do and you learn from experience, and you put that into practice, and you do what you can. It's like a big puzzle, this world. And everybody has a little piece. And they have to find out what that fits. No. 
uh, he didn't just stay there as he listened to what was going on, you know, outside the United States. But he made a decision to step up and be a light yeah. to this world. He saw the need back in there. And he said, you know what? At six years old, he made a decision to say, I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to make a difference. You know what? The world want us to be like a pun. You guys are like, oh, what's that, what's that? Well, I, I have a comparison between a pun and an ocean. You know? Uh, and the world want us to drive this to be like a pun. I think we might need another light, right? No? Oh, yeah, that one. There you go. <laughs> that one. So, a pun, you know, or an ocean. What's the difference between a pun and an ocean? A anyone? Smaller, okay. What else? Ocean is bigger, okay. Okay, yeah, huh? The pond sometimes is man-made and the ocean is not. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. But you see, when I was looking at the pond and the ocean, and those are great uh, uh, feedback about that, but I was looking at a demonstration and I was focusing more on the pond. It's like steady, right? Steady. Uh, it, it does have life, you know, but it, it is st steady, comfortable. It just stays. It doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere else. But the ocean reproduces, creates, you know, we got fish, people who like fish, who like fish here? Mm -hmm. who, who like salmon? Come on. The best salmon is the wild one, right? Wild yeah. salmon. The farm salmon is not that good. But the, the wild salmon is the, is, the, is the good one. That one you get out of the ocean. You know, when you get a fish, where you want to get the fish from? The ocean or a pond? Ocean, of course. You know? What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, you know what? We could become like a pond. When we stay steady, comfortable, you know, we got a little fish here, a little fish there, but we, we, we become comfortable. But instead, God is calling us to step up and light up this, this world. How are we going to do it? We need to become an ocean who's on fire. You know, an ocean, well, the, fire, the, the ocean's not on fire, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? You know, an ocean who's like, like intense, you know, I have to tell you about that. I won't tell you this story right now, but just right. I almost drowned last year in Miami because something came in the ocean. We, we got so comfortable, and all of a sudden, like, it filled up, and we're like, whoa, what's going on here? I feel like I was gonna, about to die. And Jenny's uh, dad almost drowned there. It, it, it was bad. I will tell you that story another day. But the ocean is that intense, you know? It creates great things. We see charts, we see everything. That's the ocean. You see, the world wants us to be like a pond. But God is calling you today to become an ocean. To step up. You know, to, 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 to have that intensity. And, and not only that, the ocean does what? It, re it reproduces. It creates others intense. So when you step up and you light this world up, guess what? Others will be light up. Others will light up. So it is your turn, guys. It's your turn. If you don't do it, someone else will do it. Mm -hmm. So what? Ocean or pond? Ocean or, or, ocean or pond? Let's see what God thinks about this. Let's see what God thinks about this. First Timothy 4, 12. <laughs> Anyone wants to read this? Go ahead, go ahead. Be big you. Stand up, please. And, and, and say hi to the camera. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Amen. Thank you, Michelle. You know, basically what God is saying here, this is Paul talking to Timothy. You know, as he's training Timothy, he said, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. You know, uh, there's, there's another translation that said, don't let anyone de de depart des despise you because you are young. You know, uh, which this is the word in Greek. I'm, I'm, I'm getting down into Greek thing, but this is what <laughs> Greek No, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm getting into the whole word in Greek because that's how <coughs> they used to speak back in the days. So we need to understand where it comes from. You know, what was it? Katake? 
<laughs> so, let's go to the first part. Guys, let's go to the first part. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. What do you guys think Paul was trying to say to Timothy when he said that to him? What were he saying? Anyone back there? Anyone new? Yeah, go ahead. Of course, of course. Look, Ryan, six years old, he did it. You know, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still contribute to this world. Hmm? Oh, you want to say that? Okay. Yeah, you know, anyone else? You know, I also think that, you know, this might happen, you know, in a, in a society because there's a lot of uh, uh, stereotype for teenagers, right? Did you guys think? There's a lot of stereotype. I'm going to read some, some of the stereotypes uh, that are for uh, teenagers. I'm not saying this. This is what I'm reading, right? <laughs> You are all addicted to social media. <laughs> Not everyone, but that's what You have no idea what real music is. Wow. When I was your age, when I was your age, oh, and Miguel didn't write this one. Sorry. <laughs> when I was your age, we actually worked harder. Since these days, these days are lazy. All you do is take selfies. All you do is take selfies. <laughs> You kids, you kids these days are always up to no good. Alright, listen to this one. You are just too young to understand anything about life. Why are all the teens, including the guys, obsessed with Justin Bieber? Oh, in one direction. Oh, this is a good one. You will last a day without the cell phone. So, if you guys. This is a stereotype, you guys. So you know what? If you guess this, you know what? Tomorrow, I'll give you a challenge. Go a day without your phone. No, 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 but that's the thing. They push it. They push it. No, you guys just said it. I didn't write this. This wasn't there. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, when I was your age, we had others. You kids only care about yourself. Oh, this is, this, look at this one. Teens, teens can't even write anymore. What is L L? Emojis. Lol. Uh, R O T F L. What is the font? What is the T M I? What is TV? TVA. Oh, and last one. Teen dress so inappropriate these days. Yeah, look at her. Oh my God! Right now. Right. Write down the paper that I gave you. Paper I gave you. Write down. Yeah.
got no right go. One, uh, stereotype. That, something that you're being stereotyped as. Mm. Like, have someone ever stereotyped you? Yeah. Somebody, yeah. write it down. Yeah. Anything that, that you're being stereotyped as. Anything that you're being stereotyped as. Whatever you want, whatever. As a teenager, as a teenager. So, you got, you got. Few, few seconds. Go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm. Don't put your name. Don't put your name. Just as a teenager. Just as a teenager. All right. So hurry up, guys. Know it all. Hurry up. Know it all.
So that's why Paul was against it, but God was against it. Because if you read the Bible, and that's why I encourage you guys to not, not only study here when we come here, but go home and like go.